What's going on, everybody? So, um, right now, I'm gonna turn on some lights for you guys. Um, just got back, worked a little bit at uh, my job, my gym job, my trainer job. <laughs> um, I worked from 9 a.m. at a client. Um, then I got done, worked 9 to around 1, one thirty right now, came home. Uh, I did cardio at the gym actually earlier this morning. That's what's cool working at a gym. You just get your cardio and everything done in your day. So I did uh, cardio, burned 400 calories in a Stairmaster for 25 minutes. And then, um, so I got, I put in my fitness pal, so it boosted me up a few calories I get to eat today, a little more. And uh, they bought me Subway at work, so I got that at work. And uh, right now I'm about to have the spinach salad. But it's gonna have eggs, onions, and vegetables inside of it with barbecue sauce on it. So I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, I had a Lenin, Lenny and Larry's uh, chocolate chip cookie, protein cookie. So I'll show you guys what my calories are so far. Um, this morning I had some oatmeal too. Just oatmeal, a cup of coffee, and a protein shake. So uh, man, I got a lot of calories today. Let's play around with it. In with meal number two for today. Uh, back on my lunch break slash right now. Um, tomatoes. Uh, I sizzled up some onions in here. Uh, spinach, chicken four ounces, uh, Thousand Island dressing light, and threw some crushed peppers and red, or crushed peppers and just regular pepper, black pepper. So I'm going to be eating this. Um, checking on my macros today. It's been going pretty good, pretty good, following strong. And um, goal just stay consistent right now. And man, I've been able to eat a lot because one, I'm eating lower carb foods like vegetables and uh, higher protein and uh, fats. Really honestly, my diet's only changed because I'm eating more vegetables. Uh, the broccoli, the spinach, you know, you can actually eat a lot while cutting. I'm getting in at least four to six meals a day depending on my schedule how busy I am but um yeah I'm just hitting those uh, low calorie foods still getting a lot of food in me even though it's not as calorically dense you're not gonna get like protein carbs and fats from broccoli but it's a good thing to throw in there if you want to just satisfy your hunger what's going on guys so what I got right here is BPI pre-workout and it is the um, Arctic ice flavor. So I'm gonna try that. It has 40 servings in it. It's about 20 bucks. Um, tastes awesome. It says on the side. And uh, gonna have that as my pre-workout. I've been taking the white flood I got in my bag right here. So I got two pre-workouts in my bag, kind of just to cho uh, choose. Got some gum. I'm gonna mix the uh, with Powerade from Electrolytes. I think there's electrolytes in the pre-workout, which I've never had electrolytes in my pre-workout. And then a uh, chocolate salted caramel protein bar right now. Uh, heading to work for a work meeting, a uh, personal training meeting. And then uh, we're going to get off and work out after that. Didn't have anybody coming in today. So um, pretty relaxed day uh, as far as, you know, I got to get my sister after, uh, from school. Then we go to church. And then we got um, a workout before film. And uh, then I'll probably head out. Unless they call me or text me, you know, I got a client that they've come in, potential client. That's when I'll um, come in, I guess. In with the chest workout for you guys and uh, started off with some flat bench pressing. Um, really wanting to focus on some of my weak areas. And um, started off warming up with 185. Uh, really pause reps just to get the feel for it. Pause at the bottom and uh, really contract the chest throughout the movement. So... Um, really my weak areas are the lower portion of my uh, chest. I know the chest is one muscle, but the decline uh, dumbbell presses and dumbbell um, and decline bench press, that's what I want to focus on too. But I started off with uh, the compound movement bench press, barbell bench press, and then I just did 205 for a uh, second warm up, and then we jumped into 215 for, I think I did 4 or 5, I can't remember, I think 4. Um, yeah, I've been kind of, my weight right now is 177. That's what I just weighed in at, actually, recently, like, yesterday. <laughs> so, 
Um, my bench is still staying strong, pretty strong in the bench. Um, overall, overall press movements have been pretty strong. Um, what I did was for this chest workout, I'm mainly just focusing on chest, building up the lower portion and hitting some of the upper pecs to the upper pec portion of the <laughs> of the pecs with um, some incline uh, dumbbell pressing and incline barbell bench pressing. But did uh, 225 for four reps. Did two sets of that, then I did two sets of, I think it was 215, so I lower the weight, and I really wanted to focus on with these decline, I don't really do a lot of decline barbell uh, bench pressing, but I do a lot of uh, dumbbell pressing. So I did this, um, this was my second set of 225, and I kind of just lowered the weight as I went, so I went with heavy first two sets of 225, and then I dropped down to 215, then I did... 205 and then I did 185 to end off and at 185 felt really light after that taking around two minute rest time lowering the rest time and uh, this camera angle isn't as good but I wanted to just get it for you guys a different angle um, this is going to conclude commentary for the workout portion guys hopefully you guys are enjoying this video so far I'm trying to make a little longer one with this since I haven't recorded in a little while but uh, make sure to like share subscribe guys and check out the rest of the video How's it going, guys? So I got—I just got back. It's about 2:05. So I'm picking up my sister around 3:30. I'll leave. I'm um, gonna be having a post-workout snack slash meal, kind of. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, what it's gonna consist of is uh, most likely a banana, one banana, not both those bananas. Um, scoop of the Phase Eight whey protein. The white chocolate. Man, I've been flying through this stuff, this uh, protein. I got that, and then one scoop of that. Pudding. Chocolate, sugar-free chocolate pudding. Uh, tablespoon of peanut butter. And two chocolate rice cakes. And then a little bit of water to get, because the pudding's not gonna really mix well with the phase eight protein. So I'll show you guys what So guys, I got my uh, rice cakes using the Quaker chocolate, chocolate rice cakes. Sugar-free pudding. This one uh, has about 14 grams of carbs in the sugar-free pudding. Zero sugars, of course. Um, what I'll do is I'll take my phase eight. I think it's uh, 41 grams per scoop. Getting good at memorizing most of my foods uh, in grams-wise. After this, guys, I uh, what I got scheduled today is I'm going to go in my room, um, print off for one of my clients that I got that coming in tomorrow their calories. And uh, I go pretty far. Like when I get a client, I do a lot for them because they're paying, you know, to get results. And that's what I want to get them. I want to show them, like, it's more than just personal training's value. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. Enough spieling on that. Um, going to print off a list of foods for them. Foods that are only just going to be uh, uh, carb macro macros friendly. You know, they're going to have micros, you know, like sweet potatoes rice um trying to make sure my clients you know most important thing guys is definitely nutrition when you're trying to see results no matter what you're trying to do especially when you're balking or if you're cutting or whatever your goal may be it's uh always keep that in mind guys so i got my pudding my nose is itchy man i forgot the peanut butter i got really bad allergies so my nose well, it's so bad. It's probably Lucy over in there. She'll probably make my allergies go up, but... One scoop of peanut butter, which is 16. So we got 13. 15. I was going to say scoop our Scoop our... The uh, pudding's really easy to get in. Mixed with this... Uh, scoop out of the package when it's not cold like I just bought these and then I took I left it in my car for a little bit while I went into the gym for the meeting but some meeting was just about meeting budget and uh, just some things we got to do to get there I'm really looking forward to October I'm trying to get a decent amount of clients I kind of learned something new every day
But today? Today's been good, man. Today has been good. No complaints my way. So what we'll do next, I'll take this banana, mix the banana in with here. So as you guys can see, we got the protein powder in there, 41 grams. We got the chocolate pudding, tablespoon of peanut butter, Jif peanut butter, the creamy style. And then uh, what I do is I take this banana, use my fingers or knife, throw it in here. Now you're thinking, you know, sugar-free chocolate pudding. I'm trying to get my carbs, you know, my sugars from the banana. I mean, I could have had regular pudding, but I actually like banana. It's good for potassium. And today, I had a lot of electrolytes during my workout. Like the new BPI pre-workout I, um, I bought actually has like electrolytes in it and then I took it with a Powerade. I mixed it with a Blue Mountain Powerade like I showed you guys. Man, that was, <laughs> that was a ton of electrolytes. So as you guys can see, that's what it kind of looks like. Gonna mix it up a little more, probably a little more water in here. Once it mixes, it's pretty good. And then you got the chocolate rice cakes that you just dip in there. Good snack, if you guys were wondering.